If you're going to the gym and you're not feeling well after your session, you're not seeing any results, then this video is for you. My name is Louisa and I'm a kinesiologist. And today I would like you to demonstrate how some simple exercise can affect your body when your nervous system is overstressed. Stay tuned and watch till the end. Hi, so we have Arif here who is experiencing some issues after he's going to the gym and we're going to try to find out what's the root cause of his problem. So can you tell me more what's the issue you're having once you're at the gym? So, for example, whenever I'm doing cycling or going for a um, run, mm -hmm. I feel exhausted, I feel very weak. Um, for example, I'm going to show you today after doing dumbbell, mm -hmm. I used to feel um, good, I used to feel uh, strong, but nowadays after doing dumbbell, I feel exhausted, weak, no power, and sometimes if I do overdo it, then I feel like I'm going to throw up. Okay. I feel sick. Right. So because of this, I can't do any sort of exercise now. Mm -hmm. All right, thank you for that. So as you can see, guys, when Arif is going to the gym, he is thinking that he is going and doing something well for his body. But after that, after the sessions, he's actually feeling bad. And this indicates that something is not right with his nervous system. So we're going to run a basic test to see what is causing him an issue. So I'll try to find now his strong indicator muscle to see how the muscle changes through some exercises we're gonna test. So I'm using his gallbladder uh, muscle. If you turn here, please, let me show to the guys. And I'll ask him to hold the muscle and see if it remains strong. Keep breathing and hold, please. Okay, and it's very strong. Now I need to make sure that the muscle is not hypertonic. And muscle is fully switching on and off. So that's a good muscle to test. Now, when uh, Riff is saying that when he's doing some exercise, he's actually feeling bad. Uh, I will ask him just to move around the room and see how his muscle is changing. So you can just start walking front and back here a bit, please. Mm -hmm. Okay, and stop. And now we'll see if muscle remains strong. And keep breathing and hold. And um, no, the muscle drops. That means the simple walking for a reef, it's actually a stress for his body. So if he's going to do even stronger exercises like uh, dumbbells or any cycling or running, it's going to be even worse for his body. So his body, any extra activity like this, that reminds us a big stress. So he can try with the dumbbell now to see if it's actually causing him any issue. Please go ahead. Okay, one other hand as well, please. Mm -hmm. And go down, please. Okay, so he did a couple of repeats and we will see if this affects him. Yes, and even this light exercise, it affects him. So we have tested for uh, Rif uh, the way he is walking in the room, the way he is doing dumbbell exercise, and we saw that uh, those exercises are actually making his body weak. This gives me an idea that his sympathetic nervous system is experiencing stress. When there is an issue like this, the autonomic nervous system is also not performing that well. And how we can check that is by simply asking him to drink some water. Arif, can you just have a sip of water, please? Sure. Okay. And we will test his muscle now to see if it affects him. Okay. Okay. And his muscle goes weak. That means by having just a glass of water, his body is not able to cope with that. It's actually a stressor. If he's not able to have simply water, that means the food is going to affect him even worse. That means if Arif is going to the gym, having his exercise, which causing him a stress, then drinking water, which is doubling up the stress for the body, he's not actually benefiting from any exercise or from his journey to the gym. So we will need to do some corrections and see if his body got improved and he is able to do all this exercise. So I applied some corrections on the reef and we will run those tests again to see if body has any changes, if he is able to cope with the exercise, walking and drinking water. So we'll check again his muscle as we did at the beginning and keep breathing and hold. And hold. All right, so muscles fully switching on and off. And now I'll ask Arif walk in the room again. Please walk back and front. Okay. Right. And come back to me. And we test your muscle again. 
and it remains strong, very strong. I'm pressing very strongly and it is strong. So that means this exercise no longer affects Eddie's nervous system. His sympathetic system is on and he's able to cope with those exercises. We will ask him not to do dumbbells because at the beginning, as you remember, when he was doing dumbbells, this was switching him off. So can you please grab a dumbbell and do a couple of repeats? Mm -hmm. Okay, another hand raise. Okay, and we're testing it now. Okay, and it is strong. It's very strong again. I'm applying to very strong pressure. And this exercise is no longer affecting him either. Also, he was feeling weak after drinking water. So I will give him some water as well now. And we're testing and this is strong so what does it mean that after correction we were able to put his sympathetic nervous system back to normal and autonomic nervous system back to normal so at the moment if Arif is going to the gym this is no longer gonna affect him obviously we'll ask him for the feedback later how he's feeling after exercise he's doing is he feeling any more exhausted or feeling throwing up but if you experiencing this issue that you're going to gym and after gym you're actually not benefiting from exercise you don't see any results and you feel even more tired that means something is wrong with any of your nervous system and i strongly suggest just see a specialist to be able to help you with that thank you for watching guys i hope this was helpful